Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Chris Seferlis, and today I'm going to talk about the Kappa architecture, how it relates to the Lambda architecture, and how you might deploy it in Microsoft Azure, right? So now the Kappa architecture is a simplified version of the Lambda architecture, whereby all the data flows through a single path and uses a stream processing engine. Um, the Lambda architecture itself can be fairly complex, uh, where you're processing both hot and cold paths of data, um, and you're essentially creating duplicate logic and duplicate uh, work for yourself, right? So the cold path would be used for something like a batch uh, processing system, a traditional data warehouse load or something like that. And your hot path would be something like stream processing. So if you're streaming data from IoT devices or picking up um, Twitter feeds or something like that, right? Now, it is a subset uh, of sorts, and there are some similarities to the architectures um, where the batch layer of the Lambda architecture um, is processing data that is immutable, um, and essentially you're collecting all of it instead of just a subset. Um, and with the Kappa architecture, you're doing similar operations, and then you're basically ingesting that data as a stream of events into a fault tolerant unified log. Now the events are ordered and the current state of an event is changed only by a new event being appended. Now from the Lambda architecture speed layer or hot path if you will, all of the event processing is performed on the input stream and it's persisted as a real time view. Um, now, if you need to, say, like recompute the entire data set, um, similar to what you would do in a, a batch load in the Lambda architecture, you can simply replay the system. Now, you do this using parallelism uh, to complete the computation in a pretty timely manner, right? And now we're seeing a lot more of these steam stream processing systems that are allowing us a lot more capability with parallelism, right? Now... When we talk about implementing this in Microsoft Azure, uh, what you want to consider is, uh, first you're going to use a stream processing engine. So whether it be Event Hubs, IoT Hub, Apache Kafka, in HD Insight, whatever it happens to be, you're going to use that as your ingestion later, layer, if you will, right? From there, you're going to use something like Azure Stream Analytics, and there's a whole bunch of other uh, stream processing um, products out there that are available. Um, but Stream Analytics is a good example in Azure, where essentially it gives you the opportunity to ingest that data from Azure, uh, from Event Hubs, and then you're going to manipulate that and do any transformation that's required to ultimately publish the data up into, uh, say, Power BI, for instance, or you know some kind of other reporting system where you want to report off of the data, and then you can do any of your slicing and dicing, any of your additional querying, anything like that, right? So, as you can see, there are certainly some benefits to implementing the Kappa architecture, right? It, it's it's uh, definitely less to maintain, less to configure, less to build. Uh, there are certainly some pros and cons to it when you compare it to the Lambda architecture. Um, but the reality is we, we're looking for a solution that's going to be developed in a, in a quicker fashion and provides less complexity than, say, the Lambda architecture which this does for you, right? Now, if you're talking about a full-scale data warehouse load from you know many endpoints, it may not be the best solution. Um, you, you basically have to evaluate uh, the interworkings of it to, to make those decisions. Uh, but essentially, you know, it, it gives you something to start with and, and definitely a good option for some of the simpler data loads when we're, when we're talking about uh, aggregating some of that data. Anyway, um, hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to throw a comment below. And uh, if you enjoy the videos, please subscribe below. Thanks very much and have a great day.